Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Hope you guys have been doing pretty good. Uh, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. And I want to thank my old subscribers that are still hanging in there. And I'm going to be bringing some more cake recipes. And I'm going to be doing some pie recipes as well. But today, what I'm going to be making is a jelly cake. It's an old-fashioned cake. And I'm just going to use a box mix. I'm using the Golden Butter Brand. And this is going to be in a square pan. So it won't be in the bunt pan. But my next cake that's coming will be in a bunt pan. So I have already added my cake mix to the bowl. Now I'm gonna add three room temperature eggs. Gonna put my shells right in the box. Next, this cake calls for one cup of water. And it calls for one third cup of butter. I just melted that in the microwave. I'm using the Breakstone All Natural Unsalted Butter. I've used it before and it's pretty good. And the only other two ingredients I'm going to add to this cake is one half cup of sour cream. You can use the sour cream of your choice. I'm just using the store brand. So now I'm going to mix this cake. And you guys know I had to get my spatula because sometimes this cake mixer spins, sometimes it don't, but I'm still gonna use it. <laughs> looks pretty good and I'm just gonna add one teaspoon of Watkins baking vanilla to this and it's pure vanilla extract I like the McCormick's but sometimes I'll get this brand because it's it's really good as well <laughs> So now that the cake mix is mixed up real good, I already have my oven on 350 degrees. And I'm gonna get my baking pan, spray it, and I'm gonna put this in the pan. All right, so I'm back with my pan. I'm gonna be using this copper pan. I remember growing up, we ate jelly cakes. It was a cheap cake and it didn't require any icing on it. Just had to have some type of jelly or preserve for the cake. 
And it, you can bake this also, if you don't want to use a square pan, you can bake this in a layer pan. All right, so I have all the cake mix out. So I'm just gonna spread this out really good. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Let it bake for about 30, 35 minutes. Then I'll come back and let you guys see what it looked like. Just keep watching. All right, everybody, so I'm back with this jelly cake. And I am using some uh, apricot today. This is what I have. I was gonna buy some apple jelly the other day, but it was like almost $3, so I said I'll just use some apricot. So after you take your cake out the oven, you can go ahead and poke some holes in it with just a fork and just put some of the jelly or preserve, whatever you wanna put on it, whatever kind you like. Just put some on it and it'll kinda of go through the little holes. You can do that, you don't have to, but that gives it a better flavor. So I'm just putting some on top where I put the little holes. You can put as many holes or as less that you like. And then next, you can just get you a spoon or a little spatula and just ice your cake, just like you were. Just as if you was putting icing on it. And this is a very delicious cake. And if you've never had it, I would advise you to try it because it is very good and it's a simple cake. It's nothing hard. So it's still warm. I'm gonna let this cool some more. Then I'm gonna come back and cut it. And taste. All right, guys. Just keep watching. All right, so I'm back with the cake. It has cooled. I'm gonna cut the cake. I'm gonna taste the cake. So just keep watching, guys. All right, so this is what it looks like. I just cut it. And this is the cake. I'm just gonna try it. I know it is good because it smells good. Yes, that is very good, real tasty. And the uh, the jelly with the preserve on it really makes it uh, taste extra good. This is really a basic sheet cake. And I've added sour cream to the mix. Then went by the box instructions, just let it bake. Tastes very good. Yes, this is a very delicious cake. So guys, if you have never had jelly cake, or if you haven't tried it in a long time, I would really like for you to try this recipe. And also, again, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. You guys be blessed. Don't forget to comment, like, 
share and subscribe thanks guys